So tonight, our first ever guest on the Brick live stream, the honor goes to Dominique Powell, the director of sports and events with the city of College Station. So Dom, welcome aboard. Hey, 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 I'm honored to be number one. This is, this is a lot of pressure. Yes, sir. You're the first. So tell me, what's a director of sports and events do? Oh, man. So I get the honor of promoting College Station every day, um, and specifically to a sports crowd, sports tournaments, youth, amateur, adults. Um, we partner with A&M on their NCAA events. So anything that you're going to compete in, we want you to compete here in College Station, and we want you to bring all your family and friends and spend all your money um, and, and affect our economy through that spending, uh, whether it be, you know, our hotels, restaurants, things like that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's in a note or in a show, what, what I do on the daily. So, so speaking of sports, um, Aggie football, I know I'm starting to see uh, events pop up on my calendar. So we're going to play or, or what? Whew. I think we all want to play. <laughs> and it, after we got through college football this weekend, I think it, there's going to be a great chance for us to play. I know um, a and is doing all the right things to make sure everyone's doing things safely. Um, I saw the announcement that no tailgating for the first game, but that's okay. You know, we'll, we'll get down there and get to that part. But as long as we have some players on the field and some people coming in to, to watch the game, uh, I think it's going to be great for, for us and our economy. Yeah. Um, so – I think that's awesome. So no tailgating, but do you know what the the, the stands are going to look like? They're not going to look like your typical Kyle. Uh, that's for sure. I don't know. I haven't heard exactly what how that's going to be situated, but um, I think we're still going to have thousands of people yelling from their you know their homes or their tailgates. Um, but I think they said about twenty to twenty five percent, which that's better than zero. So we'll take it and then yeah. we'll keep on moving and and see how this thing works. So um, COVID. In general, I mean, it's been a while. It's crazy, six, what, eight months now. So, how is that? What's what's been the biggest effect um, on the city that that you saw from your job? Uh, man, I think just you know, kind of those shutdowns and you know, some of our businesses having to adjust and, and figure out this new normal. Um, on our end specifically, it's just the people not being able to travel and, and being kind of nervous to travel, but. Um, since June 15th in our community, we've started having events back here, you know, 80, 90, 100, 150 team tournaments uh, back into town um, and really generating some some dollars for our local local businesses um, because we know how important it is for that. Um, so we continue to push forward and, and, see, and let them tell us what we can do. But um, I think just the travel aspect is something that, that just hurts. You know, you didn't get that summer vacation with your kids and make those experiences. So um, that's going to go a long way here in the future. Yeah. So the crowd listening tonight is real estate, real estate investors, real estate professionals. Um, so um, I ran into you in the gym the other day and just immediately like five, 10 questions just popped in mind because how the economy is doing in town affects, affects us. And so to pick your brain to see are the kids coming back um, to school uh, is the money coming? You know, are they going to stay in our rentals? W what do you see? I don't know how much of your job bumps specifically into real estate, but but what do you think? Uh, I think you know the the kids coming back in. That's always positive. Generating that sales tax is going to be huge for the city of College Station, um, and you know some of that general funds and what we can do as a city. So those kids coming back, you know, these events where people coming in, uh, that's going to be huge for that that aspect. As far as the real estate side, you know, when we've seen a, a shift with these events coming in, people wanting more space to spread out when they're in town. Um, so that rental market, you know, has been a driver. It's, it's you give, you know, people that are maybe nervous about being around others uh, a little bit more space to, to do things. Um, and when we when we're out at these events and showcasing the community, people are always asking us about moving here. You know, what's it like to live here? Um, you know, where are good areas to go and, and start a family or, you know, retire and things like that. So we think we've brought a lot of eyes to that market of people, you know, wanting to relocate here or rent something here. Um, so I think we, we've positively affected that market. And the more people we can get in here, the more we can showcase our great community and the more people want to live here. Yeah. So movie theaters open back up. I saw a movie the last weekend. That's a great sign. I know it's not in every state, um, but open back up here. That's a good sign. Um, what's something you think that's, that we're not going back to, you know, 
what do you what are you saying that won't look the same um i wouldn't say i wouldn't count anything out that we're not going back to i think the traveler confidence might be you know shaky from here on forward uh just people you know being kind of weary of where they travel and, and how they travel. So I know right now we're seeing a lot of drive market and a lot of regional events, um, but people are, haven't really gotten around to traveling, you know, across the state or, or flying a little bit more. So hopefully all that about, ba- hopefully all that bounces back, but, um, but yeah, movie theaters opening. That's always good. I went to go see one and I feel like I was the only person in the theater. It was nice. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Big room. So we got a question from Facebook, just general market conditions going forward, uh, effect of COVID, you know, going forward in, in 2021. Yeah. And from, from my end, it's going to be, you know, that the tax is generated. Um, I know I mentioned the sales tax. Um, that's huge that's for sales. our overall city budget. Um, and so if we can get more people in here or people spending here locally, I know we've done a lot of campaigns of just, you know, keep the dollars in town. Um, and infect our local businesses and affect, you know, that economy that way. Um, I think in 2021, if we can get football in here and some of those people in here, as well as continue to drive visitors, whether it's through sporting, our, our office does also conventions and different um, festivals and things like that. If we can get some of those to happen safely um, and bring some of that money in. We're going to we're going to help 21, but I think we're going to still see it, you know, down in the bu- overall budget. So when you and I went to leadership browsers together and I popped up your email and it was probably two emails ago. So back then it was <laughs> like the Brian and college station visitors bureau. Then it was experience. What are you guys having like food fights? <laughs> I mean, what's going, what's going on? <laughs> I think we're just uh, changing with the times. We're trying to be competitive as a community. I mean, we're um, not only competing with, you know, the, the cities around us, but we're competing, competing nation, nationally. Um, with other cities on where where you can visit and where you want to come and where you want to host things. So uh, we started at the Visitors Bureau and then we, you know, developed into the Experience Brian College Station brand, um, which really was what the trend was happening in in, um, in tourism in general. And then now we're part of the city and we're going to um, we're going to be under economic development and tourism as a, as a unit um, because we feel like both sides drive each other. So um so yeah we've been changing i think i just like to say we've been adapting we've been adapting (laughs) yeah Yeah. so this is good you're 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 actually part of the city of college station now not separate Mm -hmm. yeah and um we're we're department under the city now Mm -hmm. good so um what's a war story from a visitors bureau i was trying to think of something i don't know if you get people coming to town do you use our VRBOs, you put people in our rentals. What do you bump into our world at all? Uh, we, we bump into that world. Um, a lot of people tend to stay there. Um, we're funded by the hotel tax. So we, we try to put people in the hotels, but I know October 1st, they're, they're doing that partnership with the city for the permit. So um, I think that's going to be awesome to promote VRBOs and things like that more. But one of the horror stories I have is, um, we, we were hosting a big event and, um, you know, we had two teams that were, had booked the same rental. It hadn't gotten taken off the system for some reason. Um, and so they showed up and <laughs> they were like, well, we rented this. No, no, we rented this. Um, and so they actually were going to have to play that afternoon. And um, the, the, the host was like, well, do y'all want to kind of just share their house? And they were like, no, no it's not going to happen. <laughs> It'll be some fights after, you know, we play each other later. So we had to figure all that out. But um yeah it's it's been fun kind of hearing how um how much those rentals have helped teams kind of come together you know hang out a little bit more um in one space and you know travel as as a unit so we like those stories so i'm hearing somebody ask about (laughs) esports esports is the future um it's it really is it's probably the largest segment growing um, you mentioned a movie theater earlier. A lot of cities are adapting movie theaters into esports venues, letting kids come in and use that big screen and have competitions. Um, you see a lot of cities around the nation building specific esports, you know, stadiums and things like that. Uh, it's easy to play video games because most people play video games um, going, you know, growing up. So to use that avenue and, you know, there's now scholarships and things like that. It's, it makes sense that it's growing and it's going to be huge and it's going to be the future. 
Um, but we still love our traditional sports here too. So we like them both and um, just trying to figure out how to capture that audience right now on our end. So, yeah. So I think I heard you say a minute ago that pretty soon we're going to be paying into that uh, uh, hot tax, the VRBO owners. So you'll like us more then. <laughs> We've always liked you, but we, yeah. we, you know, we just had to even the plan fill for for hotels yeah. and you guys, and um, and I think that just yeah, adds that's... to the to the value we we bring and you guys bring too. So, so uh, besides, uh, make sure you register your your uh, VRBOs. What would you say if you, you know, had a bunch of real estate investors in the room? What you do? What would you be your your advice to them going forward uh, say- with the I would say contact our office, um, 979-260-9898 and, um, get involved with us. We can add you to the website. Um, and we can, you know, help market that and potentially even put you in our systems where we know when big events are coming out, we can send things out. They would call them leads and inform people of what's happening. Um, and so we always want to have as many assets as we can. So yeah, I would say First thing first, just contact our office so we can get you engaged and plugged in on, on when, when people are coming and what they want to do when they're in town. So, Awesome. And last, uh, what, do you wish, what do you wish the community knew more about what, what you do? I mean, you guys hard working up there and people are going to watch this later. What do you, what do you think they, they know more about you? Yeah, I would say that um, most people just think events come to a community because, you know, you're there. It takes a lot of work behind the scenes to, to bid on an event, get them to want to come to your community, make it a success while it's in town, and then try to get them back. So it's a great process, and um, we're trying our best to, to, you know, bring a lot of visitors into town and, and affect all, you, all the businesses. A lot of people just think it's only hotels. It's not only hotels that get affected by event or by people being in town spending money. So, um, you know, support us when we can, and you know, we have opportunities for you guys to get involved in events. So, um, whenever, whenever's possible, we want you engaged. Awesome. Hey, Dom, that was awesome. Uh, really appreciate you, you coming out tonight and, and being a part of this. 